Veterans groups say Indiana is losing retired military members at an alarming rate, and some vets won't even consider retiring here in Indiana. They blame the fact that Indiana taxes military retirement benefits. Now, one state lawmaker wants to stop the practice. State House Bureau Chief David Williams here to explain. State Rep. Carly Maser says now is the time to stop taxing those benefits and draw more vets to Indiana to settle down and plant long-term roots. We need to get the word 21 years, uh, that's how long 68-year-old Ron long. Martin's been out of the military. I spent 25 years in the United States Army. I was an ROTC graduate back during the Vietnam War. He and his family and love Indiana members, so much they decided uh, to retire now, here. The thing is, he says Indiana Congress. taxes his military retirement are, benefits. That we are going to tax them and other states won't. 38 states in our union do not tax military income. Okay? And when you look at that from a veteran standpoint, why aren't I living in these other states? That's, that's what hurts. You know, we, we've sacrificed a lot. Martin says that's why roughly 3,500 military veterans in their 40s or younger leave Indiana for another state every year. We got many of our young veterans that they just, it does hurt them a great deal. So those are the ones that I'm concerned about to try to keep them here. It's why State Rep. Carly Maser plans on introducing a bill that would stop those benefits from being taxed. I think in the long run, not only is it the right thing to do for our veterans, but if we're very serious about gaining and adding to our workforce, these are the simple cut and dry things that we can do on the most basic level to lure people to our state. Martin's going to keep pushing. We need to do more for these young men and women that will put their their name, their their life on the line for this country, you know, we owe them a little bit. It's, and it's about time we, we step up to the plate and do that. Governor Eric Holcomb's office tells me the governor is already fighting for military pension state income tax exemption, too. It's part of his 2019 agenda. So session begins next week. Martin feels like 2019 will be the year the law change happens. We'll keep following this for you as session gets started. I'm David Williams, Wish TV, News 8.